Osceola County deputies are searching for a man they say threatened to kill his ex-girlfriend as well as her family. They say he has a history of violence and should be considered dangerous. Channel 9's Johnny Fernandez live at the sheriff's office tonight. And Johnny, you read through the arrest warrant and found out why he allegedly threatened her. Yeah, and I actually spent the day reading this arrest warrant. It said that the victim and Maximo Flores got into some type of fight about him trying to get his things out of her house. And deputies, they consider Flores dangerous because of his violent history. This is a mugshot provided by the Osceola County Sheriff's Office of Maximo Flores. Now he's facing the charges of uh, written threats to kill. In aggravated assault, domestic violence. According to this arrest warrant, Osceola County deputies say they were called out to Flores' ex girlfriend's house here on Brookstone Drive back on December 30th. It was then deputies found out about the alleged threats to his ex girlfriend. The arrest warrant says after the search for Flores started, the threats continued. The victim told deputies he messaged her on Facebook saying he was going to kill her and writing, If I don't kill myself, I'll make sure you're dead before I go to prison. The issue here is really domestic violence is, is probably the most common violent crime we see in our communities and it's probably the one of the most dangerous. I found out this isn't Flores' first time behind bars here in Osceola County. The county provided me with these arrest documents showing Flores has been in jail 16 times since 2014. Some of his past charges include battery, domestic violence and identity theft. And Osceola County deputies say that Flores could face up to five years behind bars. Reporting here in Osceola County, I'm Johnny Fernandez, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.